Welcome back to the show. Joining us now is a very special guest, our first Student Athlete of the Month award winner for 2012-13, Laura McDermott from Oshkosh Lourdes Academy. If selected as a Student Athlete of the Year, Laura will win a $1,000 scholarship provided by Bank First National. Congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. Laura, joined by her volleyball coach, John Elman. Coach, thanks for being here as well. Really appreciate that. Now, Laura, an 11-time letter winner over three sports, volleyball, basketball, and soccer. Very impressive. We'll get to that in a minute. But first, seeing as the student part comes first in student athlete, we'll just kind of talk about that. You've had a tremendous amount of success in the classroom, a 4.0 student and first in your class. What has really allowed you to maintain this type of uh, grades? Definitely time management. That is the biggest thing. Um, even as a kid, my parents really um, had a schedule for me every day after school. Um, I have practice. I come home from practice, eat dinner, do homework, and then go to bed. And it's been that way all throughout um, middle school and high school. It's just what I'm used to. And I mean, it's my lifestyle. So it sounds like maybe, maybe school, even though it seems that it comes easy to you, that, that's not the case. There's a lot of hard work that goes into it. Definitely. Um, as soon as I hit high school, I have been taking a lot of challenging courses. I'm in a fair amount of college classes. There's a lot of studying. Um, it, it, it's a lot of work. Being that you have all A's, is there a favorite class or are they all your favorites because it just seems well, to come that easy? Yeah, I, I enjoy all of my classes and all of my teachers, but English is definitely my favorite class. Um, it's, I'm in SNC College English with Mrs. Dolan, and she's a great teacher. She's a lot of fun. She's a riot, and she's really passionate about all the works we go through, and it's just she makes it so much more fun for us as a class, and I just have always loved English. Uh, talking about another language, Spanish. You aced Spanish three and four. Are you fluent in Spanish? Can you, can you say a little bit for us? I'm definitely not fluent. Okay. <laughs> um, I took, we have block scheduling at Lourdes, so I actually took Spanish 3 and 4 my sophomore year. So it's been a while, but I can try. So, okay. uh, hola, me amo, Laura. Me gusta baloncesto, volleyball y fútbol. Okay, and what did you just say um, for the people who don't habla español? Well, <laughs> hope, hopefully I said this. Um, <laughs> hello, my name is Laura. I like basketball, volleyball, and soccer. Okay, very well done. As we mentioned during the introduction, three sports star, Coach Elman, just, just talk about what kind of commitment that takes from a person to not only be a success in the classroom, but also transition to that to, to success upon, uh, amongst multiple fields and multiple sports. Well, I think, I think with Laura, two words that come to mind would definitely be dedication and, and balance. She's interested in, in so many things. She, she does athletics well. Uh, she's, a, she's a student, uh, enjoys time with family, friends, community, faith. I mean, all of those interests are important to her. And she dedicates a huge amount of time uh, to all of those things. And to be able to be successful and productive in all, that, in all of those areas um, is really just a testament to her ability to balance you know, what she does with her time, time and energy. Um, some people would be really happy just being you know, a varsity volleyball player. Some people would be really happy just getting good grades in, in class. And, and she does, does both and much, much more. And, and that's, that's, really, that's really special. There's not a lot of student athletes that can do that. You've been at uh, Lourdes Academy coaching volleyball for how long? This is my seventh season. Seventh season. And, and, and how many athletes have you come across that are as well-rounded? Um, wow, that's a tough question. Probably 22, 23. <laughs> um, no, I'm kidding. it's really hard to put a number on, um, but I mean, I would have to say that uh, I mean, Laura ranks up there as one of the um, the most committed student athletes that, that's ever been in the gym. Any coach would be would be really happy to get a Laura McDermott in the gym. Laura, going back to, to you now, uh, what sport comes easiest? What comes sport comes hardest to you of the three that you you compete in? Well, I'd have to say that soccer definitely comes the easiest. I've been playing soccer the longest of all three sports. It, I feel as though I'm most skilled in soccer. It's, I did a lot of traveling soccer teams. So soccer is definitely my best sport. So, and it also comes easiest. I'd say the hardest sport for me would be basketball. Um, it's just so intense, the practice scenarios. And it's, um, it's stressful, but it's a good stressful. Um, we went to state last year, which was awesome, everyone just takes it so incredibly seriously. It, um, if you play basketball, that's kind of, that's your thing. Like it's, um, we're very, very tight knit. The basketball team, when it's basketball season, 
um, you see all the basketball players together a lot. Um, volleyball, I'd say I'm the least skilled at volleyball. I started volleyball a lot later than I started playing basketball and soccer, but volleyball is just so much fun. It's especially with Coach John as coach. He's great. He's one of the funniest guys I know, and he knows volleyball better than anyone, and it's a lot of fun. And it's been great playing for him the past four years. I know you do a lot of extracurricular activities away from school and away from uh, the court and whatnot, so to speak. College plans real quick as we're running out of time, what are they? Well, my number one choice is definitely Notre Dame. My brother goes there, my dad went there. It's a family tradition. Um, I just was there this past weekend to watch the Stanford Notre Dame game, and it was just a lot of fun. I just I love the campus. I could definitely see myself going there. Um, I also applied to Loyola University at Chicago. as also a great school. So I'd be happy to see myself at either of those. Okay, well before you go, we definitely want to present you with this, uh, this plaque signifying mm -hmm. that you're the uh, uh, Athlete of the Week for October. So con congratulations on Thank that. Thank you very much. And that's all the time we have for this segment. So guys, thanks for being here. Really appreciate it.